Hi everybody, it's Danielle from Rebel Femme, and today I'm going to be showing you a really easy half up, half down hairstyle that you can do on yourself. So to recreate this look at home, you're going to need a couple of things. First is the Kenra Texturizing Taffy. I love this stuff because it's like a microfiber and it's really easy to work with. It smells so good. <laughs> as well as an elastic, preferably clear so it's easier to hide. And a couple of bobby pins just because you need to lock it in place. Okay, so using my texturizing taffy, I'm just going to take a little bit and kind of rub it throughout just to kind of smooth it down. And I'm taking a little section in the crown. You don't want too much because then your the rest of your hair can look a little bit thin sometimes so you just want to take a little section and smooth it down and then taking your elastic you're going to want to make a little it's, you want it to be pretty loose so you can work with it I'm just going to do three just so it stays in place. And then make sure that you don't have any hairs connecting because they can break. You don't want that. So I'm going to make a topsy tail. So I'm going to take my finger and put it in the middle. And I am just going to flip it in like so. I'm going to kind of tighten it and then I'm going to pull it out giving the crown some volume all right so now that we have this little topsy tail done I'm just going to take this front side piece and I'm going to comb it and twist it back away from your face Once I do that, I'm going to take a little tiny piece at the end and I'm going to rouge it and I'm going to pull it out just so it's loose. And by using the texturizing taffy, it's going to give me a lot less flyaways than I would if I didn't use it. And so now I'm just going to tuck it. And I can even let it go because it's in there now. And then I'm just going to play with it and kind of pull it apart a little bit more. And then once I'm happy where it's laying, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pin it using a little zigzag motion so it stays in place. All right, so now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So just to really finish this look off and make it look super effortless, what you want to do is take a little tiny piece from the underside of your ponytail. If it's too big, it'll be hard to pin. So just make sure you take a small piece and just wrap it around. And then you're going to take your bobby pin and you're just going to stick it. And I like to make sure that the bobby pin is in the ponytail holder because 
it won't go anywhere. If it's outside and just like hooking onto the hair, it will more than likely fall out. <laughs> so right now this look is really boho, perfect for the fall. Um, but the holidays are coming up and if you want to dress it up a little bit, you can always add a little bit of sparkle, my personal favorite, and you can really make it boho to elegant. Alright guys, I hope you like this look and I'll see you next time. Bye!